This will be a short video on some miscellaneous masking scenarios. The first is how to cover up a ceiling quickly. Sometimes you may want more than just a strip of paper, such as when you're spraying a dark color, for example. Dark colors make much more overspray, so masking the entire ceiling is a good idea. What I'm using here is a roll of 72 inch plastic. It's the same plastic that we use to mask off the cabinets, just longer. I have it on the masking machine with a roll of blue tape, and I just go along the wall just above the tops of the cabinets. The space underneath the plastic can be filled in later with a strip of masking paper. Notice how I can do the entire room in one piece. Even though there is no one to help me, I can do it myself by holding the masking machine above my head as I step down to move the stool over. When I have it taped all the way along, I simply unfold it and pin it to the ceiling with a few pieces of green tape. As always when masking with plastic, try to keep it as tight as possible. This will lessen the chances of it falling down later. You'd still need to use some additional masking to cover that left corner and of course a strip of paper to cover the wall underneath, but this is a good example of how one person can cover an entire ceiling in a matter of minutes. Another interesting scenario a beginner may struggle with is how to mask off the insides of corner cabinets. You can see here that I start by putting down two strips of tape that overlap at the corner. These lengths continue up the sides of the cabinet as they normally would with any normal cabinet. I then use an X-Acto knife to cut the tape straight down the middle. You could then fold up the tape all the way along the cabinet as you normally would. And finally, to fill in the gap, I stick a small piece of tape folded in a 90 degree angle to the back of the initial tape with the sticky side facing outwards. Do the same for the top corner of the cabinet and then you can simply cut and stick on the plastic as you normally would. Let's go over the masking of your average bathroom vanity cabinet. The first thing you'll notice is that I've used a piece of floor paper to shield off the toilet. The reason I use floor paper rather than normal paper or plastic is that it's stiff, so it forms a sort of wall. There often isn't much space between the vanity and the toilet, and the sprayer creates quite a lot of airflow, so plastic or thinner paper would billow around. I do use normal paper though to fill in the gaps between the floor paper and the cabinet as it's easier to manipulate and get right up to the edges with. The next thing you'll notice is a strip of paper along the door frame. In this case, the bathroom was located off the kitchen where we were also spraying so I could leave the door open, but normally we would want to close the door so this piece covers the door. I've covered the entire wall and mirror with a single length of 72 inch plastic. This is the quickest and most efficient way to do this. If we are not demoing it, I cover the counter with paper and wrap up the faucet as well. The floors and the inside of the cabinet is masked off just like you normally would on a kitchen. Here is an example of a mostly masked kitchen. We can make some observations. Notice how the microwave has been wrapped with paper almost like a Christmas present. Make sure to tuck the paper a little bit into the sides to ensure that no paint gets on the sides of the microwave. You can see that multiple rows of paper have been put on the ceiling for extra security. The window has been covered with a single sheet of plastic for efficiency. Notice how the dishwasher has been wrapped in plastic. You can also see that despite having the counters removed, the top was still masked which prevents dust from settling on the insides of the lower cabinets. The fridge has been removed and the wall behind it has been masked with a single sheet of plastic, again for maximum efficiency. The tiles were demolished on this job, but we masked the backsplash area anyways, not to protect the drywall from the paint, but to keep dust and bits of drywall from blowing on the finished product by the force of the sprayer. The stove has been wrapped in plastic. Similarly to the microwave, tuck the tape slightly past the fronts of the cabinets to ensure the stove is completely covered. The same goes for the dishwasher. Sometimes you may want to open the dishwasher first 
and put a line of tape all around the perimeter before closing it and wrapping the outside in plastic. If a shelf in a cabinet is movable, we cover it up with masking regardless of if it's the same color as the outside or not. But if the shelf is fixed in place, as seen with this one, we mask around it, leaving it exposed for painting.